everyone, it's George Edmondson from MotionVFX.com. Today, I'm excited to show you one of our latest tools for Final Cut Pro, MCaptions. An incredible automated captioning plugin that supports multiple languages and integrates seamlessly with Final Cut Pro. Whether you're editing videos in English, Spanish, French, or beyond, MCaptions has you covered. To get started, MCaptions comes with a range of presets that are designed to make your captioning process super easy and efficient. I'll quickly show you a few of these presets so you can see the variety of styles available right out of the box. Once you've installed M Captions, it can be located in your extensions panel. As you can see here, we have a floating window for M Captions, so this can move around on top of your Final Cut Pro. And then if you will hover over each of these, you can get somewhat of a preview as to how these are gonna be animated and how they can look once you have applied them. All right, now let's dive into how M Captions works in action. If QuickTime Player can play it, then M Captions can read it. You can caption most types of media. So here you can see we can drop a wave file from Finder, or we could drop a video file from Finder that already has audio baked in, or we can actually go over to our projects and we can click and drag our projects. Any of these will work and then you just analyze that audio the same way you would. It doesn't matter which file type you are using, the process is the same. So there may be times that you're working within a really complex timeline. If that's the case, it may be easier for you to export that entire video as an MOV or even an audio WAV file, and then you can bring those captions back into Final Cut Pro on top of your project. So I also need to mention that if you're using any sort of a raw media inside of your timeline, such as Red Raw or Canon Raw, you will be required to create proxy media for those clips in order for M Captions to read the Final Cut Pro project. Once you have selected the preset that you'd like to use, you can further modify this by going over to this section of M Captions and you can adjust the size. You can adjust the Y position. You are able to adjust the text width, and then you can see that that is going to adjust how many words are on screen. And you can adjust if you want one lines or two lines of captioning. By clicking more settings, you are then given the opportunity to customize in M captions even more. So one of my favorite features of M captions is the word by word option. When you turn it on, the captions will sync each word with the speaker's voice, animating in real time. If you'd prefer to animate the entire sentence instead, you can turn word by word off and use the animate in option, which animates the whole line of text at once. Once you're happy with your captions, there are a few ways you can export them. You can drag and drop the captions as a storyline directly into your timeline. You can import them as a project into your Final Cut Pro library, or you can export them as an SRT and use them outside of Final Cut Pro. If M Captions happens to miss a part of a sentence, no worries, just copy one of the surrounding titles and use the speed slider to adjust the timing. So you can see our caption files here, but there is a little bit of text that I have added and I don't want to run the captions on the entirety of the video again. So I'm just going to option click and drag so I can duplicate this surrounding clip and I will type in what I said. If QuickTime Player can play it, then M Captions can read it. And there we go. So now that you have a basic understanding of how M Captions work, I'm going to use M Captions to caption this very video that you all are watching now. So I'll go to my extensions. We can open M Captions. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at some of my options here to see what I like the best. I think I do like fill up so we can see how that's going to look. The size is in pretty good shape. I may want to bring my Y down just a bit because I do know that there are some spots where this text may get in the way of our timeline in Final Cut Pro. My text width, I can bring that down just a bit. We can use one line, not a problem. And now I'm just going to grab my M Captions project and drag this on. We have language set to auto, so let's click analyze audio. You can see that our automatic language selection worked. It detected that I am speaking English. 
And of course, as with all plugins, the speed in which MCaptions is going to run will be dependent and dictated on the machine you're using, how long the video is, etc. Now that we are done, I'm just going to use the drag from here option. I'm going to click and drag these into my timeline. And it has created a storyline, as you can see. We can go ahead and close M Captions here. And then we can test and see how it's doing. Hey everyone, it's George Edmondson from MotionViewFX.com. Today, I'm excited to show you one of our latest tools for Final Cut Pro, M Captions, an incredible automated captioning plugin that supports multiple languages and integrates seamlessly with Final Cut Pro. So as you can see, I actually did not have to make any changes whatsoever to that first bit. But of course, you're going to want to go and check and make sure that everything is accurate, that all of the words are appropriate. If they are not, for whatever reason, you can modify that by clicking on each of the titles, whichever one it is that you need to change. And you can come up to your published parameters and you can make those changes as you see fit. Something you also may notice is that this is in its own storyline. However, if you want to, you can highlight all of these and then you can click command option up arrow and it is going to break that out of that storyline. That way each of these titles are going to be connected as you are most familiar with for the magnetic timeline. So now when we pick something up, they are going to move appropriately to whichever connected clip they are connected to. That's it. M Captions makes captioning fast, simple, and incredibly powerful. Thanks for watching, and if you want to try M Captions for yourself, head over to motionvfx.com and learn more about Design Studio. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. My name is George Edmondson with motionvfx.com, and we'll see you on the next one.